Hello everybody, it's Michelle Denman. I wanted to bring you an encouragement. This is amazing what God is doing. So he's putting more pieces together. I'm still in awe of God watching him put these things together. Um, there's more pieces he's connected. He's confirming more from the webinar November 16th that I just did called The Winds of Heaven Are Blowing. There's more things that are he's confirming from that, which I'll share in a second, because it's just God on the move. But the neat thing he's doing, he told me that he's knitting together the body and we must be equally yoked. And that is what is the remnant. So the true body of Christ, which is the remnant, he is knitting us into a unity. And what's exciting is when you begin to see people say the same thing, then you know it's the Lord. That's one of the ways you can kind of confirm it's the spirit because it's 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 a one we're only one spirit right and one heart and so it's the confirmation of what others have seen and are saying. So here's what's so great. I had shared with you the other day about Chris Yoon, this young man who is incredibly gifted. He's very wise. He's like a Daniel for our generation. I totally respect him and. He's saying exactly what Marcus Rogers said the other day in a video I shared on uh, the Azusa Street Revival, which was a couple days ago. And I shared some things Marcus Rogers said. Literally, Chris Yoon is saying identical to what Marcus did. And it's the same thing God has showed me as well. And so it's just exciting to see the remnant of God. And what's neat is that what I love is God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So not everyone is going to see. They're not going to discern this because unless they have the eyes of the spirit, they're going to poo-poo it and turn, you know, they're going to kind of ignore it because they, they was like, well, how could that be God? It is. And this is what's so exciting. And this is some of the pieces I wanted to share with you of what God is doing to build a bridge and he's building this into 2023 for a reason into revival. Okay. So if you look back, um, God had me starting to talk about yay Kanye all the way back to July 3rd. And there, I have a video you can look back on on July 3rd to pray for him because God knew what was coming. And what happens with someone, if you look at his life, the Lord had said, well, he's been chosen before the foundation of the world. And his path was already set out. So one of the things when someone has to, you know, go through their whole thing, it's a process. And nobody is like sanctified overnight or, you know, it takes time, you know, for especially because when you have a high calling, it can be very difficult calling. And yay, Kanye, what he had to do, he had to go through all this stuff to understand it. How could he expose that which he doesn't understand? He had to live it and then he actually had to overcome, which very few do. There's a rare, rare, rare amount that actually overcome like he has, but he cannot expose what he didn't you know, live through because now he has authority. So whatever you overcome, this is a huge key here. If you go through something and you overcome it, you have authority now. And that's what God, that's what's going on with him right now. How does he have authority to talk about these things? How can he speak these things? He, what he's doing is on a massive level. Um, it's not, he's not, he does not have an easy calling at all. And you can see the warfare he's got, but he's a real deal. And I'm going to share with you an exciting thing. One of my best friends is a famous actor and he has been on a very large television show. And he had the role, and when they asked him to begin, this was now, he had gotten the role, but then they later asked him to do these rituals. He said no. And when he said no, he was written off the show. And thank God, because he, he has his soul. So he kept his soul. He no longer has that role. But he, he's another one God preserved. And he was preserved. And I'll be talking more about my friend, you know, in, in the future because he knows exactly because he lived it as well, but he refused, so he got written off. They wrote him off the show and he was working for um, Disney. And so he said, I just talked to him and he said, yay is the real deal. He said, he said he's a real deal and he's he said he reminds me of Tupac. And I said, wow, that is a brilliant statement. He does, he reminds me, I can see that. He said he's very similar. 
And um, I thought, wow, that's pretty brilliant. And when you think of revolutionists or people like going against the grain who are kind of like bringing, you know, heralded in, which was the vision I had of Martin Luther King Jr. You know, look at his role as well. And it was, what was it about? Freedom. What was it about? Breaking, you know, breaking free to slavery, you know, in that, in his time period, Martin Luther King Jr. And I shared with that, um, I shared that in a video, another video, God had me do was on October 15th, 2022. You can go back and it was called um, His Glory Revival Kanye West back on October 15th. And if you go from, if you go about 47 minutes in, so start about the 47 minute mark and then go to about the 53 minute 20 second mark in that time frame, right in there, God is speaking there exactly what we're seeing now. I mean, it's wild. God prepared all of this and and he set it up, you know, in advance because God knew it was coming. So we're now seeing it. And here's what's exciting. This is the encouragement for you is that God is moving and he's exposing. And so God shines his light in the dark. He is Daniel 20, Daniel 2.22 right now. And Luke 8.17, I will shine my light and expose. And we've had all these prophecies we've heard, you know, God's going to expose. He's going to do all these things. And what's amazing, because God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, he starts doing this and then people are like not wanting, not everyone wants to hear, you know, and that's, that's just the way it is. Those with eyes to see and ears to hear the remnant, they will want to hear. So praise God for that. So that's why it's not an easy, it's not easy um, even in sharing because, um, you know, the rem, the remnant understands this. The remnant gets what is going on here and we can see, we can see the warfare against yay. So I wanted to share again, all, again, a confirmation of what God is saying. And Chris Yoon here speaks just as like Marcus did the other day. Check this out from Chris Yoon. And you have an immediate reaction, some preconceived notion and judgment about Kanye West, about what you think I may be able to say. I want to challenge your perspective. If you are able to watch the entirety of this video, I'm going to show you some clips. I'm going to give you some thoughts, some opinions, and how I believe that God is using Kanye West for many things. Now in the Bible, in Matthew 22, it says that many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah. I'm not here to judge the entirety of Kanye West, his character, his future, his past, and many things. But one thing is absolutely clear. God uses and redeems people. God gives people a chance to do righteous things, to do godly things. Mm -hmm. And it's up to them to take that up. You saw that with Paul in the Bible, Saul becoming Paul. Saul, he was an absolute criminal. And then he was redeemed and changed to do God glorifying things. Now, Kanye West, I'm not here to say he had the best past or whatnot. He obviously was living to his flesh for many, many seasons, but he's also brought uh, many things. Uh, Jesus is King, his album, he's uh, gone to church. He's been doing many different things. And you can see clearly in the way that he speaks, and I'll show you some clips about how he declares Jesus as being king and many other things. You may not necessarily agree with the way he approaches things. You may not agree with how he's being taught or what he's doing, how he's saying certain things. You may not even see the full story because you may not know what's going on behind the scenes and what his rhyme and reason is mm -hmm. for doing things in public. I've always talked about how some people, they have to act in a certain way in public and that it, it, it has to come off uh, uh, at face value to some people and then there's layers behind it. There's other things that they're doing in a calculative way so that it achieves some goal, whether it's to speak to certain groups of people, certain target audiences, or it's waking up other people mm -hmm. and there's an intended meaning and outcome behind mm -hmm. what the person is doing. And so I believe, and I, I'm not here to say that there's some 5D crazy chess that Kanye West is doing, but he's not a stupid guy. He's, he didn't get to success. He didn't do what he's doing with business, with music, with his creativity for no uh, reason. And so with that being said, I know a lot of people, you may look at Kanye West as some crazy, uh, psychotic dude. But let me give you this quick excerpt that uh, actually Tucker Carlson had said on one of his segments. This was back before the midterms. And in his segment, he gives some background context on how everything was seemingly going well for Kanye. If you look at it from the lens of him doing musical stuff, things of the world, then suddenly he, he flipped, he switched. And mm -hmm. then you had all the stuff that happened to him. So in November, 20, uh, no, November 19th of 2016, he was holding a concert in Sacramento. And basically during the middle of the, or the concert, he brought up a political message 
And he said, quote, Facebook lied to you. I'm not here to massage you with a fake truth, telling you that Hillary is going to win over and over and over. You were lied to by Google. You were lied to by Mark Zuckerberg, end quote. And so he even went on to compliment Donald Trump and even said the words, make America great again. And then suddenly after this concert, two days later, Kanye West was in yes. the hospital. Yes. At the, uh, and I'm quoting Tucker Carlson segment, but at the house of the family's exercise trainer, Harley Pasternak, West apparently suffered some mm. kind of mental break. So. Pasternak called an ambulance to pick him up. West was taken away. And then mm. he was sedated with seven different psychotic medications, including oh. benzodiazepines. I had to redo that a couple times. Lithiums, oh. sleeping pills, olanzapines. And news reports suggest that West had experienced a profi- profound psychotic episode. Oh. He'd gone completely off the deep end. He'd gone crazy. And they've been saying that ever since. West, over time, though, had a very different story. In his telling, after what he had said on stage in Sacramento, Harley Pasternak was trying to shut him up. Pasternak, West says, was not simply a trainer, but an agent of ideolo- uh, ideological control. Pasternak's job was to keep West from straying from the script, and he's willing to use powerful drugs to do it. And of course, very few people took that claim seriously, and then people are joking, laughing at him, and things like that. But other people, obviously, who were researched and knew uh, knew at the time what's going on behind the scenes in Hollywood, knew what this was about. And a lot of people are talking about control, about signing your life away, and doing things that are illegal, and then they have this against you as blackmail. And... Kanye West, he has this video where he talks a little bit about that background. So I'm gonna play that to you really quickly. It's scary, they can't control you, they can't, they, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize. They can't control me, you get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq, they can control- Okay, I'm gonna go forward a little bit just to the ones that God is leading me to share, okay? He's leading me to hear, okay? Kanye West has said real quickly, I talked to the pastor, he came to me, he said, yo, uh, it seems like there's people who think you don't like Jewish people, and I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you, and I said, I know, and then I said, I have problems with certain business practices, and he said, well, it's okay. And I said, it's not okay. It's not okay. This is the whole thing. It's like, we've now seen everything that happens if you speak up on these contracts and you speak up on all of the dealings that have been done and you point this stuff out. It's like, they tried to destroy me. And Jesus is the way and the life and the King of Israel. We just lead with love. We love all people. I, I, I'm, I'm known to be one of the most forgiving people. We've seen me forgive people. I can't, you know, it's like, I, I can't hate anyone. We saw Adidas freeze my accounts. We saw me get debanked. This is, and you think if that can happen to someone like me, what's happening to all of America? What's happening to all the world? If you have an opinion, even if you speak up, there's so many people that they just, they work in a regular job and they know if they say anything to their manager, then they'll, they'll lose their position. They'll lose their job. Right. You know, they, they tried to destroy me in press. They tried to destroy all of my businesses at the same time. And the world saw it and no one's saying anything. You know, as far as like, None of the celebrities, so this just shows you all celebrities are controlled. You don't see no celebrities talking about the Balenciaga situation, right? So that just shows you all of these celebrities out here, don't let them influence you in any way because they're controlled by the people who really influence the world. There's no such thing as a celebrity influencer. That is that all these people, they don't, they're not serving God. If they serve God, then believe what they're talking about. And my thing that, you know, the Trump, you know, I've been a Trump supporter. I went through the trenches wearing a red hat, literally going into exhaustion from people asking me these questions about the red hat. I've been through the trenches with that. But 
We're holding to Christian Christ principles first. America is a, tr a Christian country. Another issue I have is the fact that Elon won't reinstate Alex Jones. Okay, let me forward just a little bit. I just, I'm just going with what God wants me to share here. Okay. But he's declaring Jesus is Lord. He's talking about the Balenciaga situation, how many people are not speaking out against it like they would speak out against Trump or many other sort of uh, right. all conservative issues. But why is it that with mm -hmm. such newsworthy topic, why are they not speaking out against this? And it's because, as mm -hmm. he's saying, that people are controlled. And so if you are sitting there, I've talked about before, if you have a dissonance, right, a cognitive dissonance, if you have a knowledge gap yeah. and you don't know the inner workings of it, then it's, it's hard for you to make any conclusion. And you have to realize, just like how people back in the day in the Old Testament, or rather the New Testament, they looked at new apostles. They look at new... Uh, prophets. They look at the people, the disciples, and said, these guys are cuckoo. They're crazy. Because again, you have to realize your, your current state. You don't know everything that's going on. You don't know a person the way God knows a person. You don't know the, the real story behind these things. And if they're speaking out, before you make a judgment, before you make mm -hmm. a preconceived notion, and, and attempt to try to bridge that gap by saying, well, the conclusion is that he's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, he's, I've heard some news about him being medicated, and he's absolutely insane. The same thing when right. happened for Jesus. The same thing happened yes. for the disciples at the time. They heard rumors. They heard a little snippet. They came to a conclusion and they said, this is a hard saying. Who can understand this? Right. And then they walked away. They made their judgments and they went to the grave with the wrong story. I'm here to say a couple of things. Yes. God is raising up modern day Daniels. He's yes. raising up modern day bold disciples, bold yeah. apostles, so bold right. people that are going to be used in the end days. And they have a choice. They're called they may not be chosen yet, but they will be chosen and they have a choice to go out and do things. They, they have baggage. Yes, just like Saul, they had, uh, I mean, Connie obviously didn't murder, any, murder anybody, but I'm sure maybe other people did and that's why they have some kind of blackmail against certain celebrities. I'm not even gonna go there. But again, there are people that are being redeemed. It's not as bad as what Saul did, but people that have sort of a quote unquote tarnished image, disgraced or whatever it is. Again, even when you hear that, question the narrative question what people are saying just like how i gave the segment about tucker carlson you have to realize there are certain things you have to have presence of mind and say okay well he talked about alex jones he talked about trump he talked uh, people talk about kanye west have presence of mind to say well yeah. they, that may not be true that may just be rumors i don't know the full story i'm not going to be condemning them i'm not going to give these opinions unless i know the full story and again in this lifetime you may not know the full story but the lord if yes. you ask in prayer if you ask for the sermon yes. if you have the right character the posture before the lord yes. he can give you special revelation to say okay I, I can sense, and even as I uh, look at this situation, guys, I'm giving you my opinion. As I discern in my spirit yeah. that, okay, this man, obviously there's demonic oppression, there's a, a battle. He's at a level, a far higher level than many people for which Satan himself, I, I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. would be meddling in his life wow. to try to influence him. But because he's fighting, he's desiring to go to a church, he's desiring to uh, come to know the Lord, he's, he's projecting and declaring the Lord Jesus as being king, as being a savior, right? And he's doing these things. You can tell that there's fruit. You can tell that he's doing what he's trying to do with his current condition, but it's very difficult because everybody is attacking him. The Bible says yeah. you will be persecuted if you live a Lord, if you live a life according to his will and his way in Christ Jesus. And so you have to realize that you you may not know what is really going on, but don't be so quick to judge. And I'm here to say just like with Kanye, just like with many people, they have a choice, they have an anointing and a mantle if they choose to, to take it, and then they're going to be used for big things. The entertainment industry, Hollywood, government, politics, uh, social areas, education, many, many realms of society, they're being redeemed as we speak. People are stepping up, they're separating, God is separating the wheat from the chaff, and those people are going to be given a huge uh, stewardship over people, over influence, over money, over resources, all these different things, and they, they're going to be leading people to Christ, ultimately, but even as Kanye is doing, he's opening people's perspective mm -hmm. to what's going on underneath the hood, what's going on in Hollywood, what's going on with the banking elite, and especially what's going on with uh, the control and censorship and things like that. There's many, many people being used in this hour for exposure, 
to bring people down and they're going to be persecuted. You don't know the full story. You should not be judging as I've been saying, but be aware that this is happening right now. And so have presence of mind to say, I'm not gonna judge. I may not agree with everything, but also know that people are in a sanctification process. So you don't know at mm -hmm. what stage they're at. They may be uh, maturing, they may be immature, they may have perspective, a truth, something that you're not fully privy to. And the point is that you have to allow the Lord to work and that in these end times, these, these days, modern days, God is using people from all walks of life. God is using people that you would not think is qualified, you would not think is uh, somebody that God would select, but all throughout the Bible, all throughout just history, God has always used uh, testimonies, people that were, I don't know, messed up, people that have not the most qualified backgrounds, whatever it is. And I'm not disregarding Kanye West. He has a lot of talent. He has a lot of different things going for him, but is it being redeemed? Is it being used for such a time as this? Many people are being called for such a time as this. You will continually see the glory of God, the work of God, the kingdom of, of God expanding. And so watch as people like this, as an example, being used for many things. And more importantly, it is challenging your perspective. It is allowing you to critically think. It is, it is allowing you to grow in this time. So God bless you guys. Love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon. So if you clicked on... Okay. So you guys, this is so good. So good. Chris Yoon, so good. What he's saying, it's, it's exactly... You know, God is using the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And it does take discernment to see through, you know, what God is doing and to be led by the Spirit. Wanted to give you another encouragement. Now, this is mind-blowing to me. <clears throat> so I did that webinar November 16th. It's called The Winds of Avon Are Blowing. You can see it on um, YouTube Rumble. And he, in that webinar, specifically pointed out Utah. I had no idea why. I didn't. I'm like, why is he focusing on Utah? guess what? There's something major going on there, which I didn't even know, but I found out. So there's a huge thing going on right now where there are these two, these brothers, and they're trying to prove everything that happened with the E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N, okay? And it's going on in Utah. And that's why this is, again, this is to show you God is moving, okay? Because the light on Utah. And the Lord had kept telling, the Lord kept telling me that it would be the supreme C-O-U-R-T to overturn the you-know-what, the E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. That right now is in the works, okay? You got, this is a miracle, this could be the miracle because God had said it could only take a day, right? And that is in the works at this very moment. And why did God say Utah? And I just found out that it's in Utah, that they are, this, it's happening there, and this could be the ma this could be major. So this is again the light shining. The light is shining because that God kept, God kept telling me look to the supreme C O U R T. Okay, so that is going to be a victory. I believe there's something major with that. I really believe that's a big deal. The other thing is from the November 16th webinar. Winds of heaven are blowing. You know, I had said this before, but he highlighted Brazil and Iran in that webinar. Again, confirmation, there is a, a movement of freedom. So they're fighting. This is, there's something about this where um, it's the do not comply thing. You know, if we don't comply, if we just say no, which is the ultimate, you know, it's ultimate, it's, it's loving God first and your, you know, self-respect really, because when you say no, then you're actually, you know, you're putting God first because it's, it should be God first. And we would, we would not listen to man, but we would follow God first. And, and that is by the spirit. Many, many understand this and some are in the middle kind of, there's kind of like three groups of people. There's a group that totally gets it. There's a middle group that are kind of like, well, if you just show me a little more evidence and then there's the people are totally asleep. So there's like these three groups when we're talking about this kind of hypnosis that people have been under these last few years. And the thing is, if we just simply say no, and we'd have, and that's what's happening with Brazil and Iran. And so God highlighted those places so they're fighting for freedom there. That's a big deal too. So God, I just wanted to say God is working. I know we can't always see it. It's it's so much to, you know, it's almost like the vision he gave me today is like, you know, when you're in the weeds and you're kind of like, you're trying to weed through the weeds and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to get through to the the, the blooming, the blossoming and the, and the life. And that's what he showed me is 
he said, this is like the weeds and, um, you know, it's just, it's literally like just kind of going through the trenches and getting to the truth and the light shines. The light is greater. God is greater. We know that the light shines in the dark and, um, you know, it remains to be seen what all is going to exactly play out. You know, it's in God's, God's hand on it, but he knows it's his perfect timing. But I just wanted to say, isn't this amazing how God is using so many different people and how exciting it is in these times to watch, you know, slowly, it seems slow, right? Slowly freedom, you know, the, um, the revolution, we're in a revolution right now. And the other neat thing is, is God, I don't know if this was another webinar I did, and this was, um, a couple of webinars ago when God said they would be marching in the streets. That's, that's exactly what's happening. So God showed me that vision. They'd be marching in the streets. That's exactly what they're doing in Brazil and Iran. And then the other thing God said was, this is all for 2023 and preparation for that revival. And Marcus is saying very sim Marcus Rogers, I shared his um, perspective. He's actually, whenever I see something, you know, he's always right in line as well. And God said, this is all preparation for 2023 and revival where we actually can take back the land. But I do believe what what it's going to be is a demonstration of kingdom authority. So the demonstration, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons, cleanse the lepers. We're gonna be we're gonna be asked to actually show because nobody not everyone's gonna believe just by hearing. So we're gonna be actually asked to demonstrate and show that God's real. Like things that are unexplainable, like cancer being removed, tumors dissolving. I think there's going to be people raised from the dead, actually. I've been seeing that for a while. And I believe we have to now demonstrate to the world that this God is alive and this God is real and that he's not just a, the, you know, a God of religion that's dead, but he's alive and it's in spirit and truth. He's alive. So that's going to be, I believe, the kingdom exploits in 2023. And so I just wanted to share that with you, that big things are on the horizon. It is happening. It's not easy because it seems sort of like... Is anything happening? Yes, it really, really is. Oh, and he's also reminding me to say, why did God keep saying the children? Why did he's, I've been saying the children for years now. Why the children? Well, we can see exactly what's coming out now. And Kanye's the one. He's the um, Kanye or Ye. I, I, he's Kanye to me. I, it's hard to call him Ye because he seems like Kanye to me because it's what his name he was born with. But that's when a respect, what he's, he's asked to be called Ye. But, um, He's the one who's saying, look at what's going on here. He's shining. He's, he's, he's literally like that light right now in the dark right now. He's exposing. It's a big, big deal what he's doing right now. It's major what he's doing. And you can see, um, you know, what he had to go through. I was thinking about this when Chris Yoon was sharing, um, what did they do? They did this to Britney Spears. What did they do? They tried to medicate her. What did they do to Michael Jackson? Medicate. What did they do these other people? Whitney Houston, all of them. It's all of them. They all were targets. And, you know, all of them were, you know, raised in church. You know, that's what the wild thing is, is these people were actually all raised in church. So that's no connect. That's no accident either, because it means they had been called. They were chosen before the foundation of the world. So just shining that light in the dark, guys. I love you so much. I just wanted to share this encouragement with you today, because God is on the move, and just putting those pieces together. You can go back and listen to that October fifteenth, twenty twenty two, as I share. You know, the Lord was talking about yay back then, um, and even July third, which is wild. That was this year as well, twenty twenty two. But it's just so neat that God. God is fulfilling what he said. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Love you. Bye.